Hello and welcome to Microsoft Power Automate Tutorials. Today we will learn how to connect with SharePoint by creating a flow as part of Power Automation. Let me give you a small glimpse on SharePoint. Microsoft SharePoint is a browser based collaboration document management platform and content management system. If you see on my screen, I have created a site with the name of employees. Inside that, I have created a form with the name of leave application form. Inside that, I have created the columns with the name of title, name, leave request date and the purpose. By using this form, we can enter the details in any organization for the employees. And after that, these details will be automated by using Power Automate flow. And also, when we have created a flow, it will log all the details and it will store the details inside the Excel, that is, leave request Excel. If you see on my screen, I'm having an Excel with the name of leave request, and inside that, I'm having a table with the name of leave underscore details. If you see the columns over here, I'm having title, name, leave request date, and the purpose of this leave. All right? Now, how we are going to connect from Power Automate to Microsoft SharePoint by creating a new flow. Let's click on Create. Now, I'm going to select Automated Cloud Flow, which is, you know, the triggering point is over here is the SharePoint items, right? So that I'm going to select Automated Cloud Flow, and I'm going to give the flow over here as Live Request. And then if you see over here, what are the search triggers over here? I'm going to take when a new item, you can see over here when an item is created, that is my triggering point. Over here, if you see, whenever I'm going to add details or you know, whenever I'm, when the employee is going to be providing the details for the leave request, in that case, I'm going to take this as a triggering point and then I'm going to enter the details into my Excel. All right, this is the basic flow that I'm going to create to connect with the SharePoint. All right, select when an item is created and then click on create. Now, if you see over here, it is asking for the inputs over here or the parameters. You can see the site address. What is the site address? I have to provide the site address for the employees. I'm having employees over here. Let me select that employee site. And then you can see the list name over here. In my SharePoint, I'm having the list over here. I'm having leave a form, another one is leave application form. Right now, we're going to work with leave application form. Let's select that. Now, this is my triggering point, right? So now we have to take the actions when a new item has been created at the SharePoint forms. So what is the action that I'm going to take it? I'm going to store inside the Excel. By clicking on new step, I will create an action over here. I will select Excel online business. So for every leave request, I'm going to add the details inside my Excel. For that, I'm going to use add a row into the table. Let me select that. And after that, for the location and document library, I'm going to select OneDrive because of leave request Excel is there inside the OneDrive. Now, I'm going to select the file over here. What is the file name? As we have seen, we are having leave request form is there. You can see over here, leave request.xlsx. Let's select that. And you can select the table. Inside that, I'm having the table leave underscore details. Once you have selected these things, I need to map the details. What are the details which we are going to get it from the SharePoint, right? Now the title, I'm having the title over here from the SharePoint. Let me select that. You can see over here the title. I'm going to map title with the title. And the name, I'm having the column name inside that as name. And the leave request date, you can see over here, I'm having leave requesting date. And finally, the purpose over here. So to make you understand, I'm going to concatenate the purpose of leave is. And then I'm going to concatenate with 
purpose over here that is coming from the share point all right now our flow is ready our flow is going to be connecting to my microsoft sharepoint and then what are the inputs that we are going to give it as part of the employee leave request all the details will be captured and then it will stores inside the leave request excel by using this flow all right let me click on save now our flow is ready to test it let's click on test and then i'm going to use manually for the first time and then i'm going to click on save and test now to see work it right now we need to add a list from the sharepoint folder now let me go back to my sharepoint and then we are going to add a new item over here by clicking on that i'm going to give the title as mr and after that i'm going to give the name myself as amir basha and after that the leave i'm going to give it as tomorrow okay that is 10th march 2021 and the purpose i'm going to say personal work all right now let me click on save now if you see our flow will start working on that the flow is running right now and you can see once the flow has been executed successfully now all the details will be popped up over here in the excel now you can see over here the flow has been executed successfully now if you see the output over here i got the title and the name over here and the request date you can see all the columns has been retrieved successfully from the sharepoint and you can see over here the purpose of the leave the string additional string has been added over here and it is giving as personal work over here all right in the same way let me add one more employee details over here by clicking on new from the sharepoint and i'm going to give miss and after that i am going to give shushma and the leave requesting date i am going to give it as 12 february and the purpose is general and then i am going to click on save now if you see over here i got the new details over here as title as miss and name is shushma and the leave request date is 12th march 2021 the purpose of the leave is general all right this is how we are going to connect to the sharepoint from the microsoft power automate to automate our process by using sharepoint actions i hope you understand how to work with the sharepoint by creating a new list from the sharepoint portal thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day